Well, welcome folks. As you can see, back out on the boat. So, I went uh, salt fishing last night and uh, had full soul, so happy days, happy with that. I'm just keeping with myself uh, abreast of what's going on around here. We're in a busy channel here at the moment, so uh, just keeping more wits about me. But yeah, so back out again during the day. We're going to try and get a few plates today. Uh, no doubt we'll have a few. Here we go, up and down. Have a few um, plays and a few smooth mounds and um, probably a few bream, I'd imagine, as well. But uh, we've got plenty of worm to use, so uh, why not? Let's give it a go, eh? Um, a bit later on, I'm going to go for some mackerel as well, just to stock up the freezer um, for the winter, winter sessions. Um, there's plenty of birds working around at the moment, so I don't think we'll have too much problem getting a few mackerel on board and uh, bagging up. So, hopefully next time I see you, we will be with a rod in the water or maybe a fish, who knows? See you in a bit. So last night, when I was going for the old sole, just unlocked myself, I had a few plays. Now it's a really muddy bottom. I mean, so muddy, you, you put your weight down and it's just the mud, the weight just sinks straight in the mud. So you have to sort of pop it out of the mud sort of thing, which is uh, not really what I associate with place to be fair, muddy ground, but yeah, so two plays. So my instinct tells me that there's obviously going to be a few places down there. So, one in ledger, two foot trace, route O spoon, size two coiky hook. And I'm going to give it a drift and see if I can pick something up. I'm just wondering if there's any bigger place down there that may take it on the drift. So we're going to give it a go, see what happens. It's fairly clean ground there. As it's so soft, I just don't think anything can sort of grab hold of the mud sort of thing, you know, any weed or living sort of creature as such. So hopefully it'll be a nice drift with no weed and snag ups and we'll be happy days. And uh, I'm just hoping that this might be a new place venue. Anyway, let's see what happens. Well, I've had my first bite on the drift and it's not quite a place. <laughs> it's the most smallest, smooth found you could imagine. Look at that. Absolute dinky, isn't it? Absolute dinky. The worm's almost as big as the fish. Anyway, let's get him unhooked and get him away. I'll have him when he's about 20 pounds. There we go, look at that. Let's get him away. Yeah, he's darted off. Anyway. It's a fish. It's a fish on the drift. A bit that. The worm ain't the greatest at the moment. I left it out last night and I forgot to cover it. So it's got a bit of dew on it. So it ain't the best. My mistake. So I've come back to my original mark. That was last night my uh, for the sole. And because uh, it was really rubbish where I was before. The boat's been yawing around. I've put the uh, the bait runners on, so when the boat turns around, the line can just pull out and not pull the lead weight out. And this left hand rod has been peeling off a little by bit by bit. And I thought, can't surely be the uh, 
the, the tie, surely not. So I think there's going to be something on here. Now, I don't think it's very big, but I'm going to get into it because it's still going. So it's either weed or there's something there. Oh, hello. Is that weed? Is that the bottom? Oh, I think it's weed. Oh, no, no, no. I thought that was weed then. Let me just drag up a little bit. Oh, there's some, there's some weight to that. Now, it's not giving much of a fight to be fair. It doesn't feel like it's a, a flatfish. Uh, oh, hello, hello, it's a stinger. Looks like a stinger. That's a stingray. Look at that. Oh, what a beauty. I know you do get stingrays here every now and again. Right, let me get my net. Now, I wasn't expecting that, to be fair. Only a little one, but nevertheless, it's a stinger. And I've not, I've not had one this year. So, happy days. You've got to be careful of these things. Right, let's get it in. He's in, he's in. Right, let's get me on the back of the boat. Look at that. You've got to be careful of that barb. You watch it. I'll get it out of the net. They're little blighters they are. Let's get it out of the net and then uh, let's show, show proper. Oh God, I've got it right all tangled up here now. Let's get it right way up. There we go. There we go, look at that beauty. Only a little dinky one. But uh, there we go. I'm gonna get it all untangled and go from there. But they're lovely, beautiful things, aren't they? They really are. I mean, look at the thickness on it. I'm hoping that you can pick that, see that, and pick that up. I, I, I don't know what that is. That there's hard to judge. To be fair, I'm not going to get all the scales out and start weighing it. It's only a dinky one, so we'll leave that as that. So uh, yeah, over the moon. It's a nice little stinger. Well, the current is absolutely ripping at the moment. It's really unbearable fishing, to be fair. The rods are out, but I'm not expecting anything really, to be fair. Got to wait till uh, <coughs> the water comes off the banks and then the, the tide will uh, slow down and then there's a bit more of a chance of catching a few sole, maybe a place, and hopefully another stinger of a bit of luck. That would be nice, another, another stinger. But um, there we go. But, uh, <coughs> another boat turned up. He's scouting the area, see where he wants to get going and get fishing. Uh, there we are, I reckon another couple of hours and uh, we, we, we'll be into some, probably hopefully some a bit better fishing. Well Mike Cave's turned up just in the distance, quality time, fishing tackle. Check him out, check his channel out as well. Quality time on YouTube, great channel, he gets out there. That's some great results. So, uh, me, I've got to fish on, I reckon. You literally see the rod bending over, <coughs> and I'm going to go and see what is on it. <coughs> <coughs> so, it's been biting away for quite some time again, and I think this could be another ray look at it go look at it go look at it go no it's a smoothie <laughs> little smooth round well I was just talking to Mike Cave and quality time on channel 6 just having a quick conversation how's it going he says he's just getting a load of smooth round pups so I thought I'd reel up <laughs> it's made him right mess my trace Look at that, an absolute double shot, a flounder, and a place. Oh, bloody hell, just come off the hook, and a place. Look <laughs> at that. Absolutely mental, isn't it? The way it goes sometimes, it really is. But there we go, happy days. 
Let's put... That's a decent, nice flounder actually, nice and thick as well. So uh, yeah, place is only sort of a small one, but again, nice to see. But it's absolutely annihilated my trace, look at it. Oh, it's a right nightmare. But there we go. It's all fun and games, and he's absolutely annihilated it down the old uh, hole. <laughs> so I'm gonna get that off right now. And I've been using that type to scourge, which seems to be really working well for when the place and flounders are deeply hooked. But you've got to put quite a bit of tension on it to push it through, twist it, and pull it back out. But it does work. I'm just reeling out the other rod. I've got something on here as well. It's not fighting though, but it's staying down deep. God knows what this is. Ah. Now, double shot again. Don't think I've ever had a double shot like this before. A spider crab and a bass, look. Look at that. Jesus, let's get rid of it all. I had loads of spider crabs yesterday, and now I've got some today. Oh, there, he's gone. Let's show you the bass, now he's sodded off. So, uh, let's just get it T-boned off, T-boned it off. So, there we go. Actually, let's quickly show you quickly and then I'll, I'll sort it out. There we go. Nice bass. A bit of that. Happy days. A little bit productive for the last sort of few minutes there. Over the moon. Let's get this back. It's only a small one. I want to get it back and sorted. Well, I just reeled up the other rod. Didn't think there was anything on there. Just reeled up sort of thing. And bugger me, another flounder. But look at that chunk right out of it. Something's had a right old nibble at that one, isn't it? And I tell you again, that's a fat old flounder again as well. But there we are, two flounders. Do you know what? I might come here for the flounder comp. Next year I'll flounder comp though. So there we go, happy days. Well I just had to move, there was a, a big old sort of fuel container coming in and uh, where we were anchored it's pretty much near enough on his path to his um, berth sort of thing. Um, even though I'm in 30 foot of water, it's still this is the main through route sort of thing. So I could see him coming. So I thought I'll get up, get out of the way, let him come through, and then I'll drop the anchor back down. So that's what I've done. So I had to quickly reel up. Uh, no real finesse because you just want to get out of the way of them, you know, let, let them do their thing sort of thing. You don't want to be messing around with uh, boats, that's for sure, big, big boats. Um, so yeah, a bit rapid. Anyway, rapid fire in, produced another lovely place. A bit that. I'm guessing it's around about the power mark, something like that. But happy days. And to be honest with you, I'm going to take that one for the table. So, play some flounders and flats. It's unreal. I just hope the, the old soul uh, do the same as well. Just kick in and we start getting some soul. It's certainly getting that time, that sun is nearly gone. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely going to feel like it's going to be happening soon, if anything. Anyway, let's get this in the uh, box and get this bait out there. I've really baited up. I'm going to see if I can get another stinger. I've only got a short trace, but I've loaded it right up with worm. This is like my older worm. So I thought, why not? Let's get rid of it and uh, used up and see if we can back one of these stingers again. Well, another flounder. There we go. Beautiful things, aren't they? They really are. We just don't see them like we used to around here anymore. I'm just gonna get this back anyway. Yeah, it's gone. In it the way. If I was going for a flounder, I wouldn't have any flounders, would I? I'm after sole. One more getting flounders in place. You can't make it up sometimes with fishing, can you? You really can't. But it is nice to see them though, to be fair. It really is. And uh, it's certainly a mark I should come back for for flounders, that's for sure. Because so, clearly they're here, you know, and in quite good numbers. You know, um, 
they seem to be taking the nice big fat juicy worm they really are liking it so uh that's all good so because that's what i've got but um yeah keep fishing away keep fishing away well it's pretty much getting dark although it does in the camera show fairly light but it's pretty much getting dark now so hopefully the bites will continue and i might get a sole and there's something nibbling on this i'm sure there is it's quite difficult to uh see your bites really because the boat is just all over the place it's... but I'm just going to reel it up and see if anything comes of it it certainly doesn't feel like it that's for sure oh no there is something there yeah there's something there oh here we go yeah it's just woken up it's just woken up There's lines going everywhere around here, but the boat is everywhere. I can't, I can't even see the line. It's, it's a nightmare. I'm gonna have to get my torch on in a minute. And it's target achieved. There we go. Nice little slip sole. Hey! There's the freaky little gits. There we go. Target achieved. Happy days. Again, there's my hand. I need a little slip. But there we go. They're on the feed. Happy days. <laughs> I think I've got another one on, folks. I think I've got another one. I think we're on it. It definitely feels like one. And I'll tell you what, it's, I've bent over this rod as well for it. Oh, yes. Oh no! Look at that! It's another place. Look <laughs> at that! This is absolutely mental. It is. I've had a fish on each rod now. Picked up the third rod just to check the bait and the rest of it, and there's one on. I think. I've definitely felt the bite. Whether it's still there or not, I don't know. But it definitely felt the bite. Let's see what happens. Definitely feel some weight there, that's for sure. But they're not really fighting until they get near the surface. I think I might have missed this one. Yep, yeah, I have. But I've definitely felt the bite. But there's a, there's a fair old bait on there to be fair, so that might be that might be why. Anyway, there we go. Well, that's me done, folks. I'm all fished out. I've literally been on this boat for 36 hours. I've just had about enough now. I'm ready to go home. I've had a, a brilliant session today. I really have. Although the target species was sole. I've only ever had one, but I had some flounders, some place, some small smooth mounds, and that stingray. So to me, that's a really good session. It really is. I'm still chasing that elusive two to three pound sole. It's not arrived yet, but we'll keep at it. We'll keep at it. But I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, there'll be plenty more action coming up throughout the season. Um, so stay tuned. And uh, don't forget, push the thumbs up button. It really helps the channel out, absolutely free to do. And if you're a regular viewer or you want to subscribe to the channel, touch the subscribe button. Again, it's absolutely free. I know people think that you've got to pay for a subscription. You don't. And don't forget, push the bell icon as well, because then you see my uh, latest releases as well. So you don't miss a thing, because there's plenty of coming up. And plenty to get on with. I want to get some shore fishing done uh, next. I ain't been on the shore for a long, long time, and I'm really itching to get out on the shore. So, see you next time. <laughs>